Number four, blood is flowing through an artery of radius two millimeters at a rate of 40 centimeter per second. Determine the flow rate and the volume that passes through the artery in a period of 30 seconds. All right, so first, let's determine the flow rate. So I'll call that letter A. We have to determine Q, okay? The Q is known as the flow rate. And uh, they give us a velocity, right? Because it's a distance here, centimeter per time. We know that's a velocity. And here is a radius that might help us find area, right? So you're looking at on the right-hand side and you say, oh, look, here's an equation that relates those variables, right? So the volume flow rate is gonna be equal to the area multiplied by the velocity in which that fluid is traveling through that cross-sectional area. Now, we have to remember the standard units, right? Area has to be in square meters, velocity meters per second. So we already have uh, two simple conversions to do. So let's just, uh, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do them in the formula. So there's gonna be pi r squared multiplied then by the velocity, I'm just expanding on the radius. And now let's start plugging in. So here we have the radius, they gave it to us in millimeters. So we have to take that and divide it by 1000, okay? Square that and then multiply it by the velocity, but we need the velocity to be in meters per second. So 40 centimeters is equivalent to how many meters? Just move the decimal two places to the left or AKA just divide this value by 100. It really doesn't matter, all right? I'll divide it by 100 to keep it consistent, all right? And this now will give us our values, uh, our value of the uh, volume flow rate. So this is gonna be pi multiplied by two divided by 1000, square that and then multiply it by now 40 over 100. And we get a value of about three point, uh, what do we have here? So that's that's impossible. Yep, I get a, I get a value of three, 340,000. That would be some flow rate, man, woo! So the mistake was I divided, I divided this thing out. For some reason I hit the wrong button. Anyway, one more time guys, pi times parenthesis, two divided by 1,000 squared times 40 divided by 100. That looks a lot better now. So this is going to be uh, 5.03, and I guess, how many sig figs? Eh, I guess just two. So, so we have 5.0 times 10 raised to the negative six, and this is now in cubic meters per second, okay? So that should suffice. That's the answer. And now letter, so letter B is now determine the volume that passes through in 30 seconds. So we can actually use now the top formula here, right? Because this tells us that the volume flow rate should equal the volume uh, of blood passing through a certain point per unit time. I want to calculate volume, so simply cross multiply here. So that would be equal to the volume flow rate multiplied by the time that has elapsed. And we just know Q, we just found it, right? So it's gonna be this whole thing. I'm gonna plug in the approximate answer here, but do the calculation with the exact value. That's to the minus uh, six. Then multiplied by the time, it's already in seconds, so I don't have to do any conversion. So this is easy peasy here, right? So take that value, multiply it by 30, and we get a one value of 1.5, again, two sig figs times 10 raised to the negative four. And this is in terms of cubic meters. All right, if you have to convert that into milliliters or liters or whatever the case is, by all means do so. But this would be uh, this would be the answer in cubic meters. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if it helped, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.